Nuketown is officially here as a part of Black Ops 6. This 50s aesthetic is always a fun map to play in, so I am glad that they brought it to a new generation. And as soon as it was available, I jumped into the game to relive some of those glory days from playing this map in the past. So we put together this short video with some gameplay and some stray observations. First of all, as I was playing this map, I actually kind of forgot how small it is. But that's not to say that in a bad way. This map is incredibly fun, and the size of the map makes it incredibly fast paced. Just felt a little bit shocked as I realized how small it was compared to what I remembered. But I do love this map. It also does seem to be that this map is sort of ushering in an introduction to the upcoming Warzone mode, which will feature a much larger map called Area 99. From what I have heard, I believe you'll be able to find a version of Nuketown in the larger Area 99, which they have done with Warzone in the past. One thing I did notice while playing this map, your bullets will go through many of the walls of the two houses. So if one of your enemy players goes into the house, you may still have a chance to take them out just by shooting the wall in whatever direction they run. I also thought it was pretty funny that they have these little sparkles on the kitchen appliances here. Up yours. I want to point something out about that landmine that just killed me. Did you know that you can actually save yourself from a landmine by diving away from it? Look at this clip from another match that I was playing with my friend Lincoln, 6 Echo, as he was actually closer to it than I was, but because he was diving away, he was actually safe and I was not. So just hold the crouch button as you're running and you will dive away from it. But back to Nuketown. I have to say, as far as Call of Duty goes, I didn't really play the Call of Duty that came out last year. I sort of get really obsessed with Call of Duty for a while, played a lot with my friends, and then I kind of take a break. I don't know if I get tired of it or if I just get tired of multiplayer, but that seems to be the cycle that I go through. I will get really, really obsessed with multiplayer games, play a lot, and then I will become a recluse where I hide out in single player games. But as for right now, since this is the first Call of Duty to launch day one on Game Pass, I figured why not give it a download, give it a try. And I've been pretty obsessed. I've, I'm just having a good time and it's fun to be playing a game with my friends again. I'm looking forward to Warzone and whatever else they might be bringing to the game over the next year or so. We'll see what they offer with the season pass, whether I get that or not. If it has some cool stuff, I probably will because I have not paid anything for this game thus far. Is there anything coming up that you're excited about? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for checking out this short video, and I'd ask you to please subscribe because we play a lot of different games and I am always taking recommendations. Tacom, deploy strategic bomber, migrate. Tacom, get a watchdog helo overhead. Tacom, Bailey requesting help from one. Standing by.
neutralized. Cloud, purple. Detected. Hostile UAV established overhead. Authorizing UAV ECM mission. Stand down, Crimson. We have what we came for. 